first equation, and when you plug, at, when, you, when you have to do the x plus h part, a lot of people do f and then x to the third plus h, but you have to plug x plus h in for x, just like you would with a 3 or a 4 or any other kind of number, or even a triangle, something like that. So the entire x plus h is um, cubed then, instead of just the x part. And then you have to factor it out, and then multiply it together to make it an entire equation. And Mel's getting to that. Yeah, we're getting there. And then when you plug everything in, you take the f out. It's not actually part of the equation. But when you multiply with the cube, you it's a lot easier to do the first two multiply together and then take the first two's equation and then multiply it by the third one. Otherwise, it gets to be a huge mess and it's a lot easier to do. This is really long. multiply everything out, there are a lot of weird like terms, like there is 2h squared of x and then there is 2x squared of h, but those are not like terms, so you can't actually put those together because in one of them the x is squared and one of them the h is squared, so those are actually two different things. So you have to leave them as they are. Factor out the x cubed because it reduces to zero. And then you can factor out each because every single term has an each and then it reduces to one. And one mistake that we made, we thought the equation was at the limit as x approaches zero, but it's not. So for our answer, we always left h in there. But then when you get your answer, you actually have to plug in zero for h. And then all the h's equal zero, so then the answers just become with the x in it instead of the h's. No, I don't like this. Okay. We gotta plug in zero for the equation. And then anything multiplied by zero is zero. The answer is just 3x squared. Equals 3x squared. Wow. Yeah, that was long. Right. Set it up. Obviously, the f of x equation is x squared plus 7x minus 1. So for the minus f of x part, that's just what you plug in. But again, for where the x is in the equation, have to plug in x plus h, not x squared, and then plus h. It's the entire thing together, just like a number or a shape. You plug it in at all. Negative x squared minus 7x 
plus one. And then I'll just write the answer in case someone actually did it. And that was the answer.